Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's a lovely, cloudy, rainy day. Yes, I didn't go out for lunch with my brother and sister-in-law today. They had other things to do. So we're going to go ahead and do it tomorrow, which is his actual birthday. Yes, I've got this shirt on. I haven't worn it in a while. Um, I guess it could be cold shoulder or boat neck, whatever. But yeah, I, I like it up when it's up. Okay. Another flavor from Van Loo, and this time we have the limited edition Arizona green tea with honeycomb French ice, tea, French ice cream. I must have French ice tea. Right. That would be interesting. And they've got the story. It says, Again, it goes, ever since 2008, when Van Leeuwen was born out of a yellow truck on the streets of New York City, we've been making good ice cream from good ingredients that makes you feel good. After all, all happiness is healthiness, and nothing makes us happier than this Arizona green tea ice cream. Only the greatest things hail from Brooklyn, New York, like Arizona and yours truly, and the best style of pizza, and the Dodgers, truth. So we had to join forces with this iconic drink brand and create an iconic ice cream with green tea and ginseng and honeycomb candy. Ben, Pete, and Laura. And it's, it has coconut in it too. So, if you, uh, I guess if it's, if you're allergic, it has, it says contain, contains milk, eggs, and tree nuts. So if you have allergies to those things, you might not want this. <laughs> So let's dive into this. My kids and I used to always get Arizona teas and drinks. We would get the mucho mango, like I said. Arizona, the green tea was our favorite with the honey because you could heat it up or drink it cold. When you have a cold, it was nice and comforting to have this warm green tea with honey in it. And one of the, my boy's most favorite Arizona was the one with the chocolate cow on it. Well, it was like a chocolate milk, like a Yoohoo, but it tasted better than you who that one disappeared I wouldn't mind make, seeing that one make a comeback I would definitely buy it hmm 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 you taste the honey The green tea kind of takes a back seat, and it has ginseng in it. I don't rem remember if the green tea had ginseng. I'd have to look. But the honey and the ginseng take first, take the first seat, first place in your mouth, and then the green tea comes up. But it's delicious. It reminds me of the instant ginseng tea you get at Asian grocery stores. Mm. You can't hear it, but I could hear the crunch of the coconut ginseng honey candy. Definitely a, another hit. Um, Matter Hatter and Maria, try this one. It's a huge tea when you haven't tried. Now we're even, I guess, <laughs> accidentally. You've tried the Earl Grey, which I haven't been able to find. And I tried the 
Arizona green tea and honey. So if you've tried this one, let me know. If you haven't tried any of these, by all means, give them a try. Um, I find mine at Walmart. I'm pretty sure you can, you can, you can get them other places. Um, today's kind of a quiet day. It's kind of like a tea in pajamas in a way. It's a rainy day. Um, I've got laundry in the hallway. Stitch is sleeping somewhere. And I made myself some coffee. I mixed the Mexicana coffee with the Cameron's chocolate caramel brownie because they're both predominantly artificial flavors and I thought the two of them mixed together might taste better. Not bad with rice milk and a little bit of hot honey. Um, let's see, I got my debacle from the IRS in the mail. They needed a signature, so I put a signature on it, put a whole book of stamps because I can't afford to go to the post office. And I'm sending it on its way, and hopefully that will satisfy them for now. I'm just basically doing what I need to do, and at some point I'll get a refund again. But that's not why I'm here. We were here for the ice cream. And again, this is another hit. I don't think I've had a miss from these guys yet. There are some that I like better than others, but I haven't found one that I don't like. So give them all a try if you can find them. And I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to drink my coffee before it gets cold. Uh, if you like these videos, please give this a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, hit the bell once. If you want notifications, hit the bell a second time. Feel free to comment. Feel free to share. Let's keep it friendly. Hopefully I will get some more Halloween for you soon. Well, not I say more Halloween. I haven't done any Halloween yet. Uh, hopefully I will get some Halloween for you. I had gone to the TJ Maxx to try and get Halloween, and all I came home with was snacks. A cat eat a picture of a cat eating ramen <laughs> and some undergarments. And, hmm. Maybe the next trip I will be able to net something interesting. So, I'll see you next time, hopefully with some Halloween. We've got a wine review coming up. Uh, another Ballotine, or Ballotin, I'm not sure how you say it. Another chocolate cream whiskey flavor. So we've got wine, cream whiskey, snacks, and actually the snack one is already up. So that leaves the... The, yeah, the review for Akanga, the, the red blend wine from Chile, Chile, uh, and the Balatine. So, Balat, yeah, Balatine, yeah, the, the Akanga, Balatine, and then this. So, two, two alcohols and an ice cream coming up. And if you were at a restaurant, you'd be buzzed and your sweet tooth would be happy. <laughs> I'll let you guys go. Keep it dark, keep it weird, and I'll see you next time. Bye now.